The word conservation means to keep things the way they are. It means to prevent things from getting worse. But rewilding has a much more ambitious remit, and I think the planet deserves a more ambitious remit at this point in time. Located in South Africa's Great Karoo region, the Samara Private Game Reserve was established by Isabel Tompkins' parents, Sarah and Mark Tompkins, in 1997. What rewilding seeks to do is to restore ecosystem health by reintroducing all the component parts of that system, essentially reintroducing all the pieces of the puzzle. Spanning 67,000 acres, the park is home to five of South Africa's nine vegetation biomes and the team says it has over 60 different species of mammal. We're located in a global biodiversity hotspot, so despite being a semi-arid region, um, there's actually a remarkable amount of biodiversity, particularly endemic plants, and also certain um, endangered species like the Cape Mountain zebra, the cheetah, the black rhinoceros. In 2019, the Tompkins family reintroduced lions to the reserve after an absence of almost two centuries. When you think of Africa, you think of a lion. There's no feeling more primal than walking in the bush, knowing there are lions around. You feel your, your ecological senses tingling. It, it's almost like a rewilding of the self. We are seeing our founders' pride of lions at the moment, um, an incredible sighting, one of the best sightings I've ever had, actually, um, seeing our new little cub for the first time which is really, really exciting. And in terms of um, rewilding, it's not just about bringing back a species that existed maybe 300 or 400 years ago, as wonderful as it is to see them back in their natural habitat. Rewilding is also about bringing back the ecosystem. And for lions being an apex predator, quite clearly one of the main roles is, is the role of predation. And if you look around us, um, you will have seen a lot, of, a lot of skulls from some rather unfortunate wildebeest that have, that have been, um, uh, yes, lion food over the past few years. But, but it's a key role, really, that they play in, um, in controlling herbivore numbers, in enabling um, the felt itself and the red grass, very palatable um, grasses, to actually regenerate themselves as well. From the mighty lion to each and every blade of grass, it's all connected. So human beings tend to want to compartmentalize nature. We want to divide it up into cells and units that we can understand. But nature doesn't really function like that. Nature works as a whole system and various elements um, can impact on each other in ways that we don't even understand yet. One of the central principles of rewilding is actually to manage an ecosystem less. It's to, to give nature back to nature, give nature back to itself. So we need to take a step back and sort of realize that we're a part of nature rather than apart from it. I think that if human beings can focus on their own sphere of influence and on making a difference in their own little backyard, our backyard just happens to be 27,000 hectares of Great Karoo landscape. Um, and what a privilege for us to actually be able to spend our time improving this landscape and, and making it work for, for both people and planet. This is a planet worth protecting. Tell us how you're answering the call with the hashtag call to earth.